Making partitions on your storage solution is a pretty simple and straightforward process, but you shouldn't take it lightly. Making a small mistake during this process can be very costly, but in this video we'll give you some tips on how to partition your drive on Windows, so let's jump into it. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech, so if that's what you're into then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Partitioning your hard drive or SSDs can be very, very useful. Making a partition allows you to allocate separate storage on a single drive and even easily install multiple operating systems on different partitions. Even if you use a single operating system, having two partitions can be really useful. For example, you can have one partition for office work and uh, for personal information, and then you can have another one for gaming, for example. Other benefits include neatly organizing your data in different partitions and even encrypting partitions via the Windows BitLocker to secure that particular partition. So in this video, we'll be looking at the two most common methods to partition your drive, whether it's an internal one or whether it's an external one. You can use any of the methods that you feel comfortable with. The first method that we'll be looking at is using the disk management application in Windows. The process should be more or less the same for other versions of Windows, but we will be using Windows 10 for this particular example. But before you begin this process, make sure to create a backup of your data or clone your data using a Cronus if you are using a Sabrent enclosure or drive. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you need to use this. So let's show you how to use disk management to create a partition on your drive. First of all, press the Windows and R keys together and type this into the search box. This will open the disk management application. This will show all of the disks installed inside and outside your computer. If your new disk is showing as unknown, then you will need to right click and select initialize disk. After the initialization process is complete, right click the unallocated space and then select new simple volume to create a partition. Press next and you now will have the option to select the size of the partition. Just type the amount of megabytes you want in the partition. Just keep in mind that you need to select a reasonable partition size because later on it can be very difficult to change that partition size depending on how much data is in that partition. Once you have set that size, you can assign a letter to that volume. After that, click next. Now you can select the file system that you want to use. Here, I would choose NTFS if you're primarily using it with a Windows system. Otherwise, select FAT32 or XFAT. Then name the volume, click next, and then click finish. Now, the method that I've just shown you is for when you are partitioning a storage drive that has unallocated space. But what if you want to perform a partition on a storage device that has space already allocated in that drive? In this case, the process will be a little bit different, and here's how to do it. We'll start by opening the disk management app as I've shown you before. At the bottom of the disk management window, you will find a list of all the storage devices installed in your PC. They will be named disk 0, disk 1 and so on. To the right of the disk number, you will find the volumes already made on that disk. Since the space already has been allocated to volumes, we'll have to reallocate some of that space for a new partition that we're about to create. Partitions will be named something like uh, C, D, E, etc. Right click any of these volumes with sufficient space and then select shrink volume from the drop down menu. A new window will open. In this wizard, there'll be an option called enter the amount of space to shrink in MB. Here, enter the space that you want to reallocate to the new partition in megabytes. Once you have set the space for the new partition, click on shrink. This should start the shrinking process. Once the wizard is done shrinking that drive, next to that particular disk, you'll see a box with a black bar above it and it should be named unallocated. From here, the process is the same as partitioning an unallocated space as we have shown you at the start of this video. You can now right click the unallocated space and start the partitioning wizard by selecting new simple volume from the drop down menu and then it should be smooth sailing from this point onwards. Now this method is the easiest way to create partitions in Windows, but if you are having issues with this method working for any particular reason, then you can use this part in the command prompt to create a partition. A few things to keep in mind before using this part. 
all the changes that you make using this method aren't easily reversible. If you enter a command, there's no undo function to it. It will be a good idea to make a backup of any data on those drives that you want to use with this method. While it is important to make a backup of your data before starting any partitioning process, it's especially recommended when using the this part method. Now, let's get started. First, head to the Cortana search bar and type CMD. Now right click the command prompt and select run as administrator. In the command prompt, type disk part and then press enter. Now type list disk. This will show all of the disks installed inside your PC. Find the disk that you want to use and type in select disk and then the number that you want to use and then press enter. Now type create partition primary size equals and then a number. The number after the size or equals represents the size in megabytes. So a 10,000 here means 10 gigabytes. Based on this, you can type in any number that you want corresponding to the partition size that you want to set in this disk. If you don't set a size in this step, then all of the space available on that particular drive will be allocated to a single partition. Then just press enter. Now type format fs equals ntfs quick. This will format that particular partition. Now it's time to set a letter for the new partition. Type in assign letter equals and then whatever letter you want. Make sure that the letter that you're using is not used by any other partition or drive. Now type in exit to finish and you can now use disk management to check if that partition has been created or not. While there are some third party tools to create these partitions, we've shown you a couple of free ways to do it. Disk management gives you such an easy way to create and configure your disk how you like, but the command prompt can be useful to get you out of some tricky situations if disk management doesn't work. Anyway, I really hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, then make sure to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Also, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.